Hi there fellow guitarists, my name is Josh Rogers. Today I'm going to be reviewing my trusty classical guitar case. This is from BAM. Uh, I bought this in Hong Kong in sort of around the middle of 2016. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about it. Let's start off with how much it cost. It cost a lot. <laughs> All the details about this case will be in the description below if you want to find a little bit more about it. It cost me, I think, about 700 US dollars and some of you might be thinking what well, that's like more than my guitars worth make no mistake cases of this quality cost a lot of money and they cost a lot of money for a reason and that's because they're good and they protect your guitars from like a, so much damage uh, I fly a lot I travel a lot with my guitars and I do need to spend quite a bit of money on cases I got this particular one for my Takamine TH5C Harare which you see in all of my videos for classical guitar I'm really glad I bought it but let's have a look at some of the features. I don't even really know what it's made from, but I think it's made from fiberglass or some type of fiber anyway. It's got a really cool handle. You may think, oh, well, it's just a handle. Let me tell you, if you're walking through airports and stuff or just walking around with your guitar, you need a comfortable handle. This one's got a wonderful grip on it that you can see here. And it's got this really comfortable kind of it feels like neoprene actually, I do a bit of uh, diving, it feels like my wetsuit, I think that's what it could be and it's really comfortable and really strong. I've been to about four or five countries with this particular guitar case and uh, this handle is still in excellent shape and it's held on to the case itself really sturdily. Probably one of the best things for me that I absolutely love about this case are the straps on the back here, so check this out. It's got a couple of straps, obviously, one for each side, so there we go, and they can come on and off pretty easily. There's a little doohickey here that you just screw like that, and then it releases, and you can free it, just like so. And trust me, to have a case where you can just sling it on your back, is it's just amazing to have that freedom because it frees your arms up for me that's important uh, for anybody that's kind of carrying a lot of gear around the place often to have both of your hands free is pretty cool and you can just slap this thing on your back and then grab your suitcase or grab your amp or whatever you happen to, to have to grab and you'll have both hands free for that well I really can't overstate how cool these straps actually are and yeah, they attach down at the bottom there I haven't actually figured out what this is for. I think it's like a non-slip thing, but I actually, I really don't know. But as you can see, the straps attached down here and they're held on pretty securely with a couple of rivets that you can see right there. Yeah, so there we go, a couple of rivets, nice. I'm just gonna digress a little bit here. When I bought the first one, I, I bought it from a, a company called Music City in Hong Kong. And I normally don't talk badly about people, but I'm going to. They were absolutely atrocious to deal with. The first case I had, it was kind of lifting away from here. And I discovered that the day after I bought it. Maybe there was some onus on me. I should have really thoroughly checked the case. Actually, it was a manufacturing fault, but I didn't discover it until I got back to my hotel room. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to ring them and ask if I can exchange it. You know, it was still in its, it was still pristine at the time uh, in its case. And, this came with a little sort of outer protection bag so it was still in that it hadn't been scratched or anything they pretty much refused to take it back we were back and forth with a few emails and then they actually lied they just lied directly to my face and said that the manufacturers have never had a problem like this before and that they weren't going to replace it fortunately somehow the manufacturing company got in touch with me I'm not sure how that happened and they said it was their fault and they were perfectly willing to exchange the case for me. So what actually happened was the the Music City shop in Hong Kong just lied. They basically lied, they lied to me and they also lied to the manufacturer. And I don't know what's happened from that point but the, the manufacturers actually were con contacting me directly and said that they'd sent Music City a replacement case and that they were contemplating not working with that company anymore. So that was pretty interesting and uh, 
I did end up with a nice case and this has been a fantastic for me. As I said, I've taken it through a few different countries. It's been great ever since. It's obviously scratched up. I'm not one of those guys that cares about scratches on cases because that's what cases are for. I care about scratches on my guitars, but the cases not so much. You know, some people will put them in a, in a, a the case inside a case, uh, but that's just not me. Anyway, let's have a, a further look on the inside. Oh, before I get to the inside, these are the neat little latches. These things are phenomenal, actually. They, they close so well. I hope you can see that. They just, like, it's really, really easy. A lot of those other cases, they have a clip that goes over and then it latches down like this. But this one, it's just so simple. You don't have to, like, hook anything over and clamp it down. It's just up and down like that. It's fantastic. And it keeps it nice and streamlined. These haven't been damaged. I don't know how many cases I've had and I get my luggage from the luggage rack when it's come out of the plane and bloom, these are bent, you know, especially the metal ones, the hooked ones, they, they get bent or these get totally smashed in. I think these are good because they, they sit so close, they're almost flush with the body. Anyway, let's open up this thing. Here we've got the inside of the case and uh, I think you can pretty much see everything. It's got an absolutely beautiful velvety kind of plush interior that protects the guitar magnificently. One of the cool things that I, I didn't know about it is that it's also got a removable pouch. Most cases have that little box with a, a flipping lid like that. Those are cool, uh, nothing against them, but this thing, like I didn't really realize how handy it would be. Even before I came down here to film, I just had a quick check and I threw in my, I've got my nail files in there, and I was just able to grab this pouch out, go and get my nail files, just put my nail files in, I got that. Uh, what else have I got in here? Got some guitar polish and my cloth that's in here. So it's pretty cool. This is really handy and it's also slightly tapered outwards this way so that it fits really snugly only one way. It also came with this which is just a series of pads in case your guitar doesn't quite fit in here properly. Maybe you've got a slightly undersized guitar and you can use this bit of padding to place around the sides or on the top or underneath or in all of those places and it will keep your guitar nice and tight. One of the things that you should know is that you should keep your guitar tight uh, inside your case. You don't want it moving around. When it gets smashed around in the plane, and trust me, these get smashed around in the plane, you don't want your guitar moving at all because that can damage it. If it's nice and tight in there, the only thing that will damage your guitar as if the case itself is smashed. Fortunately, that hasn't happened to me yet. One thing that you do have to note with this case is that it's an extremely tight fit for a standard size classical guitar. And that's great, but you just gotta be careful when you put your guitar inside because it's, uh, like I said, it's so tight. And I usually, even though I'm trying to be careful, I usually do kind of hit my guitar on this hard edge here. It doesn't damage the guitar at all because this is actually well protected and it's rounded. You sort of get annoyed when you when you hit your guitar on there. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm putting my guitar in incorrectly. But apart from that, it's great. Uh, I've had it for a year and a half and it's made in France. And as I said, the company were fantastic to deal with. Not the people I actually bought it from, but the BAM company, like they were all over this. That They didn't want any, any bad rep. They were great. But the people that sold it to me, horrible. A word to you out there, if you're gonna buy something in Hong Kong, it's not like other parts of the world where, you know, you think you've got a guarantee and you can take it back if it fails within the first week or something like that. It's just not like that. Hong Kong has this kind of mentality where if you buy something, you should thoroughly check it first. And if you don't and it falls apart the next day, the onus is on you. Uh, I don't want to offend anyone in Hong Kong out there, but that was my experience. And I've heard that from a lot of other people, even local Hong Kong people. And they said, no, you've got to really check stuff thoroughly. Uh, so I learned a lesson from that. I do admit that it was partially my fault. I should have really, really checked closely the lining. But I was pretty excited and I needed a, a good case because I was leaving China the week after. And uh, I really needed something good to put my guitar in before I threw it on the plane. Uh, what else can we talk about? The finish. I chose this finish. There was about eight or nine different styles to choose from and I thought this one looked pretty slick. No problems. It's great. Scratched up a little bit. It is awesome. It's got these little rubber things here as well and these just allow it to sit on the ground nicely uh, so that it doesn't fall over if you're, if you're
you've got it on its side like this. I do apologize about looking out this way so often. I've just been trying to check my camera and shift the focus and stuff uh, because I'm doing this on my own. Yeah, this is BAM case and it's been great. One other cool thing about this is it doesn't weigh much. And that is really important as well, especially if you travel on planes because you're trying to save weight usually. Well, I am anyway, so I carry tons of gear around. And if I can just save a couple of kilos, man, I'm all for it. And this case only weighs a couple of kgs, and that is like a winner for me. And I, it should be a winner for you too, because if you can l uh, lighten the weight of something, then hey man, it's cool. You can carry something else that's heavy, or you know, if you're lugging around a heavy guitar case with a guitar inside and heavy amp and so on, it can get a bit tiring. And uh, I travel alone a lot, solo or in a duo and we're responsible for our own gear and uh, I certainly don't want to be lifting too many heavy things for too long. That's my review of the BAM original classical guitar case and I give it a big thumbs up. If you like the video please press that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Cheers, peace out, let your fingers fly.